All right, guys, this your boy back again with another video. And as I said on Twitter, I want to talk about Kenny Atkinson. Uh, Kenny Atkinson, um, when I was on the uh, on DJ's show, DJ's Wrong Country, shout out to him, uh, we we're discussing possible coaching candidates. And I threw my hat in the ring and said, uh, one of the ones I was interested in was Kenny Atkinson. And one of the things I like about what Kenny Atkinson does uh, is he likes to run an offense based on motion strong. And I'm not going to get into the details of the action. I'm actually going to add some videos either in the comments section or the description box so you can take a look at it. You can see how it runs. But I think I had some points that I just kind of wanted to go over with the with how the offense is and how he plays and how I think it will help the Pelicans, in particular the, the young core. So um, while he was with Brooklyn, most of his offense was based on transition and getting up threes. Now, that benefits Lonzo, MBI, and Zion right off the bat. But... What, in particular here, he, um, I think, he, I'm trying to remember the stat, but I think 18 or 19% of his possessions were um, transition. Like, that's where they got most of their buckets from. Like, basically a fifth of their offense they got in transition at the fourth highest pace in the league. So that bodes well for Lonzo Ball in particular. But um, I think like 33% of their shots or 33% of their shots made were from three. It's kind of in line with what Gentry was doing a little bit of last year, except with Motion Strong, one of the things about it is you can flow into different kinds of offenses with it. And to start it off, it's in the hands of your point guard, Lonzo Ball. And so what's going to happen is there's going to be a stagger screen where B.I. is going to come from the corner and he's going to get, you know, pinned down, set for set for him by Zion, Derek Favors, or depending on whoever the four or five is in the lineup. And he gets several options out of that. The main one is just to shoot the three. He should have enough space to get his jumper off. And with that improved jumper and actually even, you know, more time to practice now and get ready, that should actually go up. That should be a very good shot for him starting off. But he can also choose to attack the basket out of it, too. Um, but one of the benefits is it's a high IQ system. You have to be able to read the situation and make the proper plays. So there's a couple options. Once B.I.'s got the ball, if he wants, if he sees that they're hedging, they're both, that means both the defenders are basically trapping him. He's got the option to give to Zion or the center for the easy bucket. They're gonna draw a lot of he's gonna draw a lot of attention from defenses that way. But let's just say, you know, the defense blows that up. Well, you can give the ball back to Lonzo and they can reset it up again and run it very easily. Or <clears throat> depending on, you know, the, the players out there on the court, they can run a two man game in the corner with Lonzo and whoever the two guard is. But, you know, I think it benefits the team because you can see, and like I said, I'm going to post some videos where you can see what it looks like. You can see where Zion could get some, some work done. You can see where B.I. could get some work done. You can see where Lonzo could get some work done. You can see how it'll benefit their games already. Um, <clears throat> it's going to open the floor. They play five out. So it's going to open the floor. They're going to space the floor. They're going to have plenty of room to work with. Um, one of the things I think this offense is going to do for Lonzo is it's going gonna, it's gonna to force him to attack more. And if he's going to attack more, especially in the open court, his numbers are going to go up offensively, but he's going to command a lot more attention, which is going to make the team itself very effective. Uh, but in particular... There's a lot of cutters in his offense, and I think that's one of the things that was missing from Gentry's offense. A lot of times, guys were just standing around and didn't make the necessary cuts all the time, but I was looking at some Lonzo highlights earlier, and Lonzo was doing pretty damn good um, off those cuts. I would like to see a lot more aggression off ball with him 
uh, making those cuts. I think that's a pretty good that's a pretty good uh, plan of attack for him, especially when Bi and Zion have the control of the offense. They got the ball. It's something they may be sleeping on because you know when you're focused on them, you're not necessarily paying attention to Zoe or some of the other guys. So I think that will benefit him. Um, you know, how does this benefit Brandon Ingram? Well, Moshe Strong puts the office of onus or the workload mainly on B.I., your three, and that's what he is. So he's going to get to make a lot of decisions with the basket. He's going to carry a bulk of the offensive load. And like we were having a discussion on DJ's video, it'd be imperative of him to get more touches and be the feature of the offense. I think that's the best option for them going forward. But I think in between that, one of the things I mentioned was him and Zion in a two-man game. I don't think that was explored enough for them. And I think, especially if Zion starts making improvements on that jumper, that's going to become a whole lot more deadly for them. Um, as it pertains to Zion, I would like to see Zion uh, setting more picks to screens and getting some separation for some of these guys. So if you got to come down that pin down uh, off of Zion, and let's just assume favorites that Jackson Hayes is in, or even Melly, you know, now you got options. Now, it depends on where they position Zion, because Zion could set the pick, crash to the board, and if B.I. reads it, he gets it over the defender, and Zion's got an easy dump. That's easy money. So... You know, they, they're going to have a lot of uh, dynamic plays that are going to happen just simply because they exist on the court. And this the offense is predicated on having a lot of good shooters. So you got your J.J. Reddicks. Let's just say Josh Hart uh, enhances his three ball. He gets better at that. With all of that action and that congestion at the top of the key and where they're running it, you could easily see – the defense is sleeping, and you get the kick out to J.J. Redick or Josh Hart for open threes. That's going to add, you know, more lethality to that offense. Hell, even Drew Holiday, if he's still on the team, you know, he have, you know, he, with that kind of space, you know, his three-pointer isn't the best in his kit, but I think with more space, we'll see an increase or uptick. So I think offensively, this will benefit everybody that's playing. Um... And like I said, I'm going to go more into this probably in another video. But I really think what Kenny Atkinson does fits what the Pels want to do or how they're going to want to play offensively. So, you know, and that's just a couple of things. Like I said, there's options. That's I, What I like is the versatility. You know, if one thing doesn't work, you can roll in with several other th different actions. It requires your players to have high IQ to understand, okay, we missed this. What can we get out of this? How can we take advantage of it? Oh, we can run into triple handoff. We can do a couple of weak side things. You know, we can, you know, get players moving that normally wouldn't move, and they can make plays in this offense. So that's all I got for you guys right now. I just want to make a very quick video to just talk about the offense. Like I said, I am going to post some links to some videos so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And you're just going to watch it. You're going to be like, okay, I can see how Lonzo and B.I. and Zion and some of these other guys we have can benefit from that. So this is your boy Jay Strokes back again with another video. Y'all have a good day. Peace.